The Big Ten Challenge. This is a competition run by my local spearfishing club, the Sunny Coast Skin Divers. Now I had one of the best years spearfishing I've pretty well ever had. And I think this competition actually drove me to push myself a little bit more than usual. Looking for different ground, finding new fish, trying to think about where I'm gonna find each species. The competition was a lot of fun and I think I'm a better Spiro for it. Okay, so this competition runs for a full year. For each category, you can get a potential of 10 points for the biggest fish, nine points for the second biggest, eight for the third, so on and so forth. Boys keen? Yeah, <laughs> Go for that tuna. Go for the tuna, yeah. My first points on the board came from Morton Island on a cold winter morning. Our first stop of the day was my favorite mackerel drift, and this spot was going off. There were big Spanish all over this spot. With the low light and pretty dirty water, I did not see all the sharks that were underneath these mackerel. This fish got eaten so fast. That Spanish was a pretty big fish. I estimate around 20 kilos. I was really hoping the Spanish would still be around and they were. I did another drop and came down on top of this pretty good sized fish. I was really trying to stone this fish because I lost the last one to sharks. But fortunately, they weren't around and I managed to land this one. This fish went 130 centimeters and pretty good fish to put on the board. Nice big Spanish. Yes. We moved a few kilometers north to another reef. On this dive, I'm about to shoot a 10 pointer. And to this day, I'd say it's still one of my best fish. These fish are so hard to find and shoot. I don't know if you can tell, but I was a little bit excited. Yeah. This snapper went 76 centimeters. An awesome fish and a PB for me, but if I want to win the Big Ten, I've got eight more species to find over the next 10 months. With over three months down in the competition already, I'm falling behind. I've only entered two fish. Now, on this day, I'm hoping to remedy that. On these channel markers, I'm looking for kingfish and trevally. These fish love to hang around these markers. Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. A big golden trevally. This is exactly what I needed. At 100 centimeters, this is going to be a good fish. And guys, I've got to say, these things are delicious on the smoker. Give them a go. So we moved to the next marker. I dropped Adzi in to go and have a look. He said there was a big kingfish on it and he knew I was after one for the competition. So he let me jump in and have a crack at it. Going for the stone shot, but the thing was so close it was actually hard to line up on the fish. But I got a good holding shot after a bit of a fight and it beating the crap out of me for a while. I've got this fish on board. This kingfish went 131 centimeters. Not bad. Two more awesome fish for the Big Ten. 
and not to mention two great fish for the smoker. The Kingfish and Trevally were good enough to put me into second place with 35 points on the board. We've got lots of fish too. I'm not showing you my secret spot, so. <laughs> Let's get them. Now, it had been about five months since my last entry for the Big Ten Challenge. Honestly, I'd started to give up hope. Until this day. I'm not joking, this was probably one of the best days I've ever had on the sunny coast. There were a ton of really good jacks getting around, but I had my eye on a big trout I saw on the previous dive. I spooked this fish on the previous dive, so it was a little bit more wary this time. My plan was to go down, lay on the rock, give it a few scratches, and hopefully get it intrigued enough to come in close enough for a shot. Now this was going to be my entry for coral trout in the Big Ten, but only a few dives later, I was going to find a real monster. came down on top of this trout, all I was thinking was do not mess this up. I've had other opportunities on big common trout like this, but uh, they've been less successful, let's just say that. Yeah, this one kept me up a few nights. So when I finally got this fish in my hands, it felt like redemption. This trout went 7.4 kilos and was 81 centimeters. It was going to be a tough fish to beat in a big tank. <laughs> there was some quality mangrove jacks getting around too, so I went back down to try and get one. I managed to get a really good shot on this jack. This jack went 63 centimeters and just over four kilo. Another great fish for the Big Ten. Two donkey trout and two really nice mango jacks. Oh, it's bloody heavy. I picked up a couple of fish off camera too, like this spangled emperor that went 53 centimeters. And a garfish. <laughs> you know what? It looks like the, yeah, one of the fish vomited the garfish. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like and this beautiful crayfish. But there was one fish that I could not find all year. A big tusk fish. I was definitely in the right areas because my mates kept shooting them. Here's Adzi with the beautiful 10 kilo tusky. I even got to second shot a big tusky for my mate Danny. But with only two oh, weeks God. left in the competition, my luck was about to change. This little secret spot, I know big black spot hanging out. I've shot multiple big black spot over the years in this area. As I came down, I landed on top of the ledge, turned to my right and found this pretty good sized tusky. He was about six and a half kilo, a good fish, but not good enough for the big 10. I'm gonna need a fish over 70 centimeters to get any points at all. My time was running out. This was the last day I was going to be able to dive for this competition. The sun was starting to set and the light on the bottom was really low. It was quite hard to see. I didn't have many dives left.
as I approach the bottom, I look up and there is a monster tusky just sitting just on top of that ledge there. Now, when I saw where the shot had landed, I was pretty anxious. It looked really high and I thought it could easily tear out. Once I got the fish away from the reef, I started to play it really lightly. But thankfully, the tusky just seemed to give up. For a good little afternoon session i was really chasing a big black spot for the annual big 10 competition that the sunny coast runs a nice 10.3 kilo 74 centimeter black spot hopefully enough to get me across the line and take out this year you So, I ended up with the win. It was really close, Bart was only just behind me. If I didn't shoot that black spot, I reckon he would have taken out this year. Anyway, we had a great night, it was a lot of fun. A few bevvies were had, and uh, yeah, the next morning was less fun. <laughs> <laughs>